I picked it up. <laughs> for, for those of you who are new, uh, every week there's a, somebody, my son or my wife put something in a sack, and I don't know what's in here until I open it up. And I get to take this and hear something about Jesus, which is going to be challenging today. You know what that is? I'm not even going to ask how many of you floss your teeth. <laughs> I hope at least most of us brush our teeth. But when we brush our teeth, according to my dentist, whom I have not seen in a long time, there's stuff you don't get. So you need this to be able to get between the teeth and get all the little stuff. Sometimes it's that way in our lives. We sin. Sometimes we make the decision, oh, I'm going to clean myself up. We can do that. We can brush ourselves up, put on a nice shirt, maybe even a tie. Nobody wearing any ties today. It's not required. But you can do that and, and, and look real nice, and, and you can say, oh, I'm going to stop doing this and this and this. And you can clean yourself up. But there's still stuff hidden. There's still things going on deeper in there that maybe you can't get to. That's why you need a Savior. You cannot cleanse yourself from sin. You may be able to cleanse yourself from certain sins, but sin is a matter of a separation from God and, 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 and to be able to be reunited with God, to be able to have peace with God, to be able to have fellowship and a relationship with God takes a true encounter with God. It takes something more than brushing, something more than merely cleaning yourself up. It requires the cleansing of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we accept Jesus by faith. But think about that when you're brushing and flossing your teeth this 